Today we're going to learn how to change the oil in a 2011 Mazda 2. The techniques shown here can be used in just about any other car as well. First what you want to do is chalk the wheels opposite of where you'll be jacking. So since we're lifting the front of the car we want to chalk the, the rear wheels. Uh, we're going to lift the car up with a jack, a floor jack, and we're going to put the car on jack stands. Do not rely solely on the floor jack when working under the car. You should have a pair of jack stands. And what I'm doing on this side, you'll want to do on the other side as well. So you'll have two jack stands. Please refer to your manual to, to uh, show the proper jack points and, and uh, support areas for the jack stands. Lower the car very slowly and once it gets onto the jack stand just make sure everything is as sturdy. Locate the oil filler cap, unscrew it, this will allow air to go into the, the filler cap area and allow the oil to drain faster out of the, the bottom. So here, here I am under the car. The oil filter is, uh, is in a very accessible place. Not all cars will have an easily accessible oil filter. But uh, use an oil wrench as you saw there to loosen the filter and also importantly is to position the oil catch pan just under the filter so that you don't make a mess and get oil everywhere. Be sure to empty the oil filter by turning it upside down into the drain pan. Take the new filter and first of all verify the old filter when it came off that the rubber washer did come off and did not stay up in, in the uh, up in the engine. And then take the new filter and rub it with some of the older oil. Uh, rub the washer with some of the uh, oil that just came out. That just helps give it a better seal once you tighten it on there. Put the clean oil filter back on, screw it on, and you don't really need a wrench to tighten this. In fact, you don't want to over tighten it. So just tighten it hand tight, tighten it very, very snug, but only with your hands. Locate the drain plug itself, and on the Mazda, it's a 9mm drain plug. So once you loosen it, Again, position the oil catch pan so that you don't make a mess. Unscrew the drain plug and let it pour into the drain pan. Just be aware that the stream of oil coming out is going to be changing as less oil is left. So be sure to move your catch pan accordingly. Now the plug that you took out, they typically have a washer and then more times than not the washer pops out and goes into the oil drain pan. The drain pan I'm using here has a screen on top so it caught the, the washer. That's very important when you put the plug back in is you want to have that washer on there. tightening this, just tighten it snug. You, you don't want to, definitely do not want to over tighten. Uh, you, you risk chance of stripping it and if that happens then you, you've got some other problems that you have to deal with with uh, either re-threading, putting a new plug in there or just replacing the whole oil pan itself. Uh, 
either way it's not it's not a fun thing to do. So take a rag or paper towel and wipe all the excess oil from everywhere. The reason being is not only to be clean but uh, once we refill the oil and start the engine we want to be able to check for leaks. Be sure to properly dispose of your used oil. Here I'm putting the lid on the used oil drain pan and which I'll take to a recycling center. So now we're going to take the car off the jack stands. I've already taken it off on the passenger side, so here's the driver's side. And before lowering the car, make sure there are no, you know, I can lower the car tires onto anything, any tools or like extension cords, things like that. So lower the car to the to the ground. So now the car is back level, so that when we go to fill the oil we'll get a good uh, dipstick reading. So here I'm checking the dipstick even before I put the new oil, oil in. Because if your dipstick shows a lot of oil or, or you know, full of oil, then either you've <laughs> drained the wrong type of fluid and not the oil, or something else is, is going on. But in this case, the dipstick was showing dry, so it was empty. And I'm using the funnel to pour the new oil into the to the engine. Refer to your manual for the viscosity of the oil uh, and if it requires synthetic or not. This particular car, the Mazda 2 to 2011, requires 4.4 quarts, and since the jugs of oil come in five quart containers. Uh, I just poured it to where it went to the fourth mark on the side and then check the dipstick and then add a little as keep adding until you get to the right uh, the right level. So close up the filler cap, make sure the dipstick is in, wipe everything off, and then finally start the engine and check for leaks. Let it run for you know few minutes to get warm and to build up some oil pressure and just keep looking uh, specifically around the oil drain plug and the oil filter. If there are no leaks, turn the engine off and do one final check of the oil level. You may have to add just a little bit more and we're done.